Good morning, everyone. I'm David Kramer. I'm the executive director of the George W. Bush Institute. And I am a guest in your beautiful country, but I'm also proud that the George W. Bush Institute, together with the McCain Institute, that Evelyn Farkas directs, is a partner with the Economic Policy Research Center run by Nino Evgenidze and her terrific team. Let's give a round of applause to EPRC. And I think I saw him here. Kurt Volker and I joined, there he is, uh, joined forces with Nino uh, seven years ago, or whenever it was. Um, and we've been thrilled to be part of this ever since. Um, we started last year's conference with a moment of silence, and that was for the many tragic victims of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. We would like to do that again this year, but we would also like to remember and pay our sincere respects to the victims of the recent landslides here in Georgia. So if I can, please rise for a moment of silence. Thank you. We now, actually I should ask you to stay standing, sorry. Uh, we now are going to uh, play, as we did last year, two national anthems. First, the Ukrainian national anthem, followed by the Georgian national anthem. Thank you.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may, um, I'd like to read the following statement from the 43rd President of the United States, George W. Bush. The Tbilisi International Conference is an important gathering, and I'm proud that the George W. Bush Institute is once again a partner. Laura and I send greetings to the people of Georgia and to the participants and attendees. While you are meeting in Tbilisi, the world's attention remains riveted on Ukraine. The outcome of that war has enormous implications for freedom and democracy around the world, including for Georgia. Victory for Ukraine will show that the forces of democracy can prevail. Victory for Ukraine will underscore the power of people who yearn to live in freedom. Victory for Ukraine might even open the possibility of an end to Russia's occupation of 20% of your nation's territory 15 years after Putin's invasion. The Georgian people remain steadfast in their support for becoming a full member of the transatlantic democratic community through membership in the European Union and NATO. Civil society in Georgia continues to play a vital role in moving your country forward. As I said last year, Georgia holds a special place in my mind. You have committed friends in the United States. But questions persist about the government's commitment to democratic values. It pains me to see the treatment in prison of your third president, whom I knew. Many worry about creeping Russian influence in your country and the government's support for the people and leadership in Ukraine. This is a time when we all must come together in the cause of liberty. Let's use this conference to recommit ourselves to victory for democracy and freedom and defeat the forces that threaten those ideals. May God bless the people of Georgia and brave freedom fighters around the world. George W. Bush. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to turn over the microphone to my friend and colleague and partner in this conference, Evelyn Farkas, the Executive Director of the McCain Institute. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Um, I wish we had that all in print because um, President Bush's words were ones that I hope we will all take to heart and challenge and discuss over the course of the next two days. First of all, I want to say thank you, deepest, deepest thanks to Nino Evgenitze, the EPRC team, everything that she has done to create this wonderful conference year after year. It's not only substantive, it's not only a rallying force for those of us who support Georgia and hopefully, of course, our friends here in Georgia, but it's also a beautiful work of art. <laughs> so thank you for this backdrop. Every year you bring so much humanity to what is also, of course, a political, military, economic conversation. Thank you to David Kramer. We at the McCain Institute still like to consider you part of our family, having served for many years at the McCain Institute together with Clark Volker, my, my predecessor once removed. Um, this conference is imbued with Senator McCain's spirit. And so I just want to say a few words about that. I also want to thank, of course, my colleagues at the McCain Institute who worked with all of you. But really, the credit goes to Nino and David. The credit goes also to all of you who come here year after year, who work when you leave this great country to remind the world about the importance of Georgia's fight. Senator McCain died five years ago last month, and we have been taking the opportunity to reflect upon all of the things that he taught us and also using it as a rallying force, as a source of strength to go forward to continue his work. On April 12th, 15 years ago, when Georgia was invaded by the Russian army, Senator McCain said to his counterpart, President Chakashvili at the time, who was unfortunately in prison today, he said, we are all Georgians. 
He said it publicly in the United States of America at a political campaign speech in, I believe it was York, Pennsylvania. It was definitely Pennsylvania. Something that is hard to imagine today. He said it, that even then it was probably hard to imagine. The fact that Americans in Pennsylvania should identify with the Republic of Georgia and their struggle for freedom and sovereignty. But Americans should, could, and they do. And the struggle that Ukraine has endured subsequently has brought it all to the fore and made it much more real for Americans and for people all over the world. There is still much work to be done, and that is why we're all here today. And I hope that we all take from the example and the background and the words of Senator McCain, we take those to heart, that we are all Georgians. We are still Georgians today, and we are Georgians when we leave here, and we must engage with all of the issues that we are talking about over the next two days in a fearless, frank, and positive fashion the way that Senator McCain would have done if he were here today. Do not be afraid, be frank, be, be resourceful, be smart, and again, be intrepid. Thank you. My dear friends, I'm so happy and excited to having you back here in Georgia. And warm welcome to all newcomers, because this conference is, brings more friends of Georgia, more like, you know, the people who care about Georgia and care about the values which for which we are fighting for uh, many, many decades. There is a 15 years uh, today that uh, since uh, 2008 invasion of the Russia, uh, of Georgia. And, uh, you know, I mean, really, West at that time was not ready to uh, really to, like, you know, to realize with whom they are dealing. And uh, unfortunately, it was followed by the uh, full-scale invasion of uh, Ukraine. And uh, Georgian people are uh, different from the Georgian current government. And the Georgian people, 89% of the Georgian population, thinks that the war in U Ukraine is their war. And that the thousands of Georgians are fighting there. And the 52 Georgian volunteers already sacrificed of, uh, for Ukraine. And uh, we think that it's not only they are sacrificing themselves for Ukraine. They are sacrificing themselves for all of us, including the Georgians, Americans, other Europeans. They are securing, securing now the future of the uh, Europe. And uh, we have to uh, tribute their fight and their like, uh, bravest. And Senator McCain always was saying that, just be brave, rest is so easy, and please, the topic today we are discussing right now and the why we choose this topic is defeating the Putinism is expression of the, the imperialization of the Russia. Let's start talking about this because without the imperialization of Russia, you will never defeat the Putinism. Be brave and please glory to Ukraine and glory to Georgia and glory to all freedom fighters all around the world. And I also want to thank you, our uh, partners, the Rooms Hotel, who are hosting us uh, for these events many, many years now. <laughs> Last 10 years, because of the COVID, we missed the David two, two years, unfortunately. And uh, I would love to express my gratitude to our uh, long-term partners. They're not only the sponsors, they are the partners and the founders of, uh, of this conference. And uh, they are the Open Society Foundations, the British Embassy to Georgia, United States Embassy to Georgia, NATO, uh, TBC Bank, all, all these private individuals also who uh, are the people of the values and who know the, why it's important to having this kind of gathering in this country. And last but not least, thank you so much, David and Evelyn. Without you, I cannot do anything. <laughs> and thanks a lot for, for this courage and for this trust and for your free, uh, friendship to doing this uh, together with us. Now it's almost like uh, seven years. <laughs> Thank you.